Input and Output Splitting. If you've ever taken a headphone jack that has one in and two outs so that you can blow two sets of headphones into like one iPod, you've done signal splitting. You've probably also noticed that after you did signal splitting, you couldn't run your headphones all the way up to the full level of loudness. This isn't a big deal if you're just walking down the sidewalk, but if you're riding on an airplane, half volume might not be enough to be able to hear your music. So what you need is what's called a distribution amplifier. The distribution amplifier takes a single signal and splits it as many times as you need. So in the case of this one from CE Labs, it takes a composite and two stereo and makes seven outputs from it. And the thing about a distribution amplifier is it detects how many outputs you're using and varies the amount of power so that it is amplifying them all to the appropriate level. This means that if you plug in two things, it's going to run twice the power, and if you plug in seven things, it's going to run seven times the power, so that they're all at the same appropriate levelness. If you are just splitting something twice, the auto gain control on the line in on your device is probably going to handle it okay. You're just going to end up with a little bit of more noise because you're using the auto gain control to run the signal up. You still get some added noise and distortion with a distribution amplifier that's doing the same thing, but because it's a dedicated device designed to take signals and do this, it's probably going to be better than the auto gain control built into your device. The other advantage of using a distribution amp is that it's designed to do this for lots of devices. If you split something three ways, the auto gain control may not have enough signal to run it back up. And then in the case of headphones or microphones, there just may not be enough signal to split in order to make the auto gain control work. Or headphones don't have auto gain control, they just play the sounds. So a distribution amp is what you need if you're going to split something more than twice, or if you need to do so without any loss of quality.